Yo, what's up guys? This is episode 12 of the What A Funk Stories vlog. And on this week's episode, I'm gonna show you guys the process of making a t-shirt from start to finish. So we're gonna go through the entire process, start to finish, everything from drawing the design, scanning it, burning the screens, printing the shirts, curing them, folding them, and getting them ready to send to you. So I'm gonna show you guys this entire process in this video and I hope you guys like it. Um, if you're watching, like and subscribe. So let's check it out. The first step is drawing and designing. So let's get right to that. So I got a design already uh, sketched up a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys the inking process of that. So let's get straight to it. So the next step in the process, now that we have the design finished and drawn out, is scanning the image into the computer. So we got our image drawn out, and this is our little scanner right here. And I'll show you guys how to do that. You just throw it right in. You have one of these scanners. I already showed you guys in the previous videos which one this is. So you just throw it right in and let it scan. Next step is now that we have it scanned to the computer, we bring it to the Photoshop and we get rid of some of the extra designs that were also on the page, all the doodles that were on the page as well. Um, I like to do a lot of designs on one page to, um, you know, keep everything together. But then we take them apart like this. So do that. Then we rotate it. mock it up on some shirts just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So we're going to do some red shirts with some black ink for this. And this is what it's going to look like. We got the design on the back. We did a little stuff to the text. We changed it around a little bit. We made the outline a little thicker. You know, we got to turn the drawings into designs. So you can't just put a drawing in on a shirt without having to design it a little bit and spice it up. So this is how we do. And this is how we do it. So this is the design right here. And then the front of the shirt is going to be this right here. With the what a funk lettering around the bottom. Um, and yeah, so that's what we got. The design mocked up. And we are ready to go. You move so slow. Uh, it says do it carefully. I don't want to fuck up the ink <laughs> or have it come out. Gotta be careful. Precision. Now that you have the design scanned in, all done up on the computer, finished designing it, now the next step is to print out the design on regular paper and we're gonna size it on the shirt and get an idea of how it's gonna look on the shirt. So that's what we're working on right now. We're gonna print it out size it out, see, see the placement and how it's going to look and see if the sizing is correct and how we want it to be. So print out some designs, regular paper, cut it out, line it up on a blank shirt, get an idea of how it's going to look. So that's what we're working on right now. These are the wrong shirts, these are the other shirts. So why do you tell me to film it? Because I just...
guys. So the next step, now that we got everything sized out, is to get your transparent paper and print your design on the transparent paper. First time using this printer. Hope it works. Let's get it. So slow. <laughs> So now that we have the transparencies printed out, we're on to the next step and the next step is the burning of the screens. So we're going to take these screens into the dark room and we're going to burn the images onto the screens and I'll show you guys the process of that right now. And this is what the, this is what the transparency looks like right here. So this is the dark room. We use the yellow light so um, to not expose the emulsion on the screens yet. So we're going to do this design right here and we're gonna put that on a screen and I just realized you guys never been in this room but um so yep I'll show you guys how we put this on the screen burn it this is our setup right here we got the design we got the screen set up and design ready and we're just gonna line it up tape it down and then we put this piece of glass on it put this light on it for about 30 minutes and then we wash it out right after so this is the design that's my coffee and um, I'm going to tape it right now and I'm actually not sure if this is going to burn right because the screens may have been exposed to light already but we'll see what happens and if it does work this is the first screen done at the What A Funk Studio 2020 so we'll set up let this light burn this for 30 minutes we'll see what happens not sure if it's going to work or not but I really hope it does, so I don't have to clean out these screens and then redo everything. We'll see what happens. Now we're gonna wash this out. Hopefully it works. I know I said that like a hundred times, but let's see what happens. So it worked, and on to the next screen. This is the back of the screen. Nothing's easy. I guess I was wrong. This one was actually easy. Very surprising. All right, on to the next screen. Let's get it. First screen worked, and now we are working on the second screen. If you want to know why, there's two of these designs. I couldn't figure out what size I wanted to do, so I figured I might as well make both sizes, and then I'll figure it out later on if what size I actually want to print. They're not much different, but one is a little bit bigger than the other. And if you see the drip on here, it's because I actually wanted to make a screen with the drip a little bit bigger. I already have this screen with a drip on it but I want to make it um, a little bit bigger so and the other way around so I got that and this and then we'll wash this one out hopefully this one goes as smooth as the other one we'll see what happens and I actually figured I'm gonna actually hang up all these all the things that I burn in this room all the um, transparencies I'm gonna hang them in this whole room right here and by, by the time I move out and get to the big next bigger space this whole shit will be filled up just watched out the other screen and so far so good everything looks pretty good and we're ready to go ready to start printing shirts whoops ready to start printing shirts let these dry overnight cause uh calling it a night so show you guys the next step so now that the screens are burned and ready to go we're about to start taping everything up getting the um, platen ready and I'm gonna start printing. So let's get tape up the edges and get everything going. Now 
that we got everything set up, we got a test print shirt on here, and we're gonna start testing a couple prints out, make sure everything is good, and then from there, we get rolling. <laughs> like coming out good so far got a bunch more to go so it's just a preview So far, we printed the back, the front, and um, so you've seen everything from start to finish, but we ain't done yet. We still have a bunch more to do. We have to do some sewing of the labels, we have to cure the shirts, and then package them, of course. But, um, you know, it started out as a design, you've already seen that. You've seen us turn it into the film. And then we burned it into the screen, you've seen that and then you've seen us print it so far so that's what we're up to right now so stay tuned for the rest of the process it's a long process it's not easy to print all these shirts and get all these shirts done so hope you guys enjoy it yo what's up guys we're back as you could see all the shirts behind everything is dried up now and ready to start heat pressing to cure the ink into the shirts that way when you wash them they don't wash out so that's the step we're up to right now and um, that's not a very fun step, it's very boring to do. I don't like that part, but it's gotta be done, so here we are. About to get all these shirts piled up and start heat pressing them. The shirts, the ink is uh, cured into the shirts. Now the next step is we're going to pin the labels onto the shirts. We're going to cut the labels out, pin them onto the shirts, and then we're going to start sewing them. So we're going to do that right now. I just need to clear my head. I 
is our last step of actually the creating of the shirt. So we're about to do that right now. Sew all these labels in. Um, so this is what I mean by handmade. You see we printed, we drew, we drew um, the designs ourselves, printed everything ourselves, made the screens ourselves. Now we're sewing the labels in ourselves. showed you guys the entire process start to finish everything from drawing designing printing um, the last part left is packaging so we'll show you guys that part next but I hope you guys like the video please like and subscribe to our videos and put out content every week for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it so here is the finished shirt there's the front right here front design right there I'll show you guys the close-up details Yep, that's the front. Do the sewn in label right here. You've seen that part. Let me show you guys the back. And that's the back of the shirt. So now I just gotta fold them up, tag them, and bag them. Hope you guys like it. get free stickers.